around in 11th century when people of French invaded a country named as England and it make a lot of changes. At that time, 7,000 Normans, basically the people belong from French, invaded England. It happened almost in 1066 AD and they ruled till 1580. So this was a time when there was a lot of changes. So a person named as William the Conqueror was the leader of the Normans who invaded England in 1066. William the Conqueror belonged to a country known as France. So the people of France came to England and they invade the country and they ruled there for many hundred years. So at the time they invade England, in England the language was English and Latin. But after they came, they produced a lot of changes on social level, on political level, on cultural level. So as a whole, we can say, by the invasion of French, England changed a lot. So this is a little background of French invasion in England. At that time, English was the language of upper class in the time of Anglo-Saxon period. But when the French invade England, English became the level of the lower class. Now, French was the official language. French was the language of the upper class. So all the elite class, all the people who belong to upper class, they were speaking French language. Now, English is considered as a vulgar language. English is the language of lower class. People hate to speak English. The one who speak English belong to the lower class. So now, around 1280, England and French separated. They split up. England language English changes a lot because English was mostly spoken instead of written for about 300 years. So, England language English faced a lot of changes. Many French words were added to English. This is known as Middle English. In English, when there were a lot of French words added, so we call that Middle English. Now, a lot of French words were added to English language and we will see some of the words which were added from French language into English language. So, some words are army, power, crown, castle, court, parliament, mansion, gown, beauty, art, romance, duke, servant, governor. So these are some of the words which were included from French language into English language. Now we have seen that English was considered as a vulgar language, as the language of the lower class. So now people who were speaking English were considered as a servants of the French who was considered as the upper class. So English lower class people were cooking for French upper class. They were working in the kitchens, they were working in the different departments. So, mostly English people were cooking for the French upper class. So, many names of animals like cow, ox, calf, sheep, deer 
were taken from the French language and the name of the meat such as beef, mutton, pork, bacon. So these were also taken from that language. So now we are clear with the background of Anglo-Norman period that how they invade and all. Now we will have a look at the literature of the Anglo-Norman period from 1066 till 1580. If we talk about the major genres that were present in the time of Anglo-Norman period, so number one is religion. As we have seen in our previous video, the video number one on the history of literature in Anglo-Saxon period, we have seen that the poetry and the prose were limited to religion and the politics. So similarly here in Anglo-Norman period, the genres were limited to religion. People were talking about religion, religion in which the things like charms, riddles, magics and these things were included. And also Anglo-Norman and Anglo-Saxon ages are considered as dark ages. Why? Because there was no development in their writing. The people were limited to the particular topics, particular genres were there. So here in religion, they were only talking about the charms, magics and all these. So it is also limited. So that's why they were named as the Dark Ages. So if you talk about the second major genre of Anglo-Norman period, so a romance uh, was there. So basically in it, there was love, there was adventure. Uh, we will see an example forward in our video of Canterbury Tales of Geoffrey Chaucer's in which people were migrating to another place and they were talking about love, they were talking about adventure. So these things were included in this genre. So these ages were also considered as dark ages. Why? Because there was war between England and France of almost about 116 years. So there was no development in any writing. Now we will see the major themes of Anglo-Norman period. So the major themes included love, as we have mentioned already, love was there. There was uh, forgiveness. People talk about myths uh, in the religion matters. There was gender inequality, women were not treated as same, and there was faith, they were talking about religion. Now we will see the famous examples of Middle English or Anglo-Norman period. So number one is Canterbury Tales, and Canterbury Tales was written by Geoffrey Chaucer's. Basically, it is a collection of stories. It was combined by Geoffrey Chaucer's around in 1400. Basically what happened, a group of people was traveling from one place to another in Canterbury, England and for passing their journey, for passing their time, they start to tell different stories to one another and every person belonged to a unique background and everyone have a unique personality. So they tell different stories which include the theme of love, morality, sadness, forgiveness, myths, fictions and all these. So this is basically Canterbury Tales, the combination of different stories. Second famous writer of the Middle English or we can say the Anglo-Norman period was William Langland. William Langland's famous work was Pierce Plowman in which he discussed all the social and moral issues that occur at that time period. I hope you understand Middle English time period. I explain it very clearly from the start till now that when French invade England, a lot of changes occur and when English contain a lot of different words from French, we can say that the Middle English. So now we will uh, summarize what we have studied in this video. We have discussed Anglo-Norman period, basically it start on 14 October 1066 when French people attack England and they invade England with the help of William the Conqueror, the leader. And when they invade England, England faced a lot of changes on social level, political level, cultural level. English, which was considered as the language of the upper class in Anglo-Saxon period, was considered as the language of the lower class in the Anglo-Norman period, and French become the language of the upper class. So this is basically the map of England in around 1066 to 1500. So I hope you understand the 
Middle English time period or we can say the Anglo-Norman time period. So this is basically video number two on the history of English language and literature before we have discussed Old English or Anglo-Saxon period. Now I have discussed Middle English or Anglo-Norman period. We will cover all the ages in detail. So if you like my video, uh, like this video, subscribe my channel, comment if you have any question. Thank you so much for watching my video.